Hey guys, Joseph Hanna here from No Reserve Classics. Today I'm gonna to be presenting to you guys this awesome 1969 Camaro RS SS Resto Mod 502 Big Block 4 Speed Resto Mod. Hey guys, I'm Chris. This is No Reserve Classics and we're about to show you this Big Block 502 in this 69 Camaro. Let's hear her roar. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, let's go for a ride and show you what this car is all about. Well, thank you guys and thanks for coming in and watching our video. Definitely hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of new inventory coming in soon. So if you like this bad boy 502, you guys are in a real surprise because we got a lot of new inventory coming. So first thing that I got started with with this car was actually starting it. Turn that key, let that fuel pump warm up a little bit. Start that key, bam, she cranks right up. And you got that beautiful sound coming out of that exhaust. Man, she definitely sounds as good as she looks. That beautiful bright orange paint with those white stripes going down, up and down the hood, down the trunk. Man, you can see this beautiful tangelo orange paint from a mile away and it definitely screams American muscle. Now, as soon as I got into this car, got my three-point seatbelt in here made by Morris Classics. Definitely, definitely, definitely suggest if you're gonna drive an older vehicle like this, definitely safety is a huge concern. If you ever wanna put anybody in here that you really care about, this three-point harness will definitely lock you right in place. Do a little downshift here and we're gonna pop it right into fourth with this four-speed Muncie Trans going around some of these turns. And man, am I sucked into this seat or what, guys? I got these beautiful bolsters on the side here and in the back, you can definitely feel, ooh, that baby, she pours. That Muncie's four-speed is awesome. But definitely, nice cushion in these seats. While they look original, they definitely feel a lot more updated than just a factory seat. So you got that look, the aesthetic look of that classic 50 year old seat. But boy, let me tell you, she doesn't feel like one. And let's just get into that Muncie four speed for a second. Man, it is a beautiful October day. Actually, we're in November already, holy mackerel. It's a beautiful November day. It's a little chilly outside and this car is performing just great. I mean, I have all, everything that I need right here. And my battery, my temperature, my fuel, my oil, this OEM style four gauge setup in the center console. Very pretty, very elegant. I mean, not every day do I get to drive a four speed, cruising through these side roads, just enjoying the scenery, relaxing and having just a great time. Up front, we got our miles per hour gauge and we got our RPM gauge. No funky, crazy looking things here and there. Nice analog, so it's gonna work. Nothing digital, it's gonna work all the time. It's just reliability, ease, and she looks just like she did as she came off the showroom floor over 50 years ago. How cool is that? I mean, we're just gonna take a little bit more some of these turns here. We got the comfort grip steering wheels, feels really good. I mean, brings you right back in time where you can control your gears, you have just what you need up front with your miles per hour, your RPMs, and just looking forward and enjoying the road with a smile on your face. Hey, listen, this 502 sounds great, the exhaust sounds great, but sometimes you just wanna tune in the radio. You got this beautiful Pioneer radio with a CD player. It's actually got an auxiliary cord. You plug your phone in, get your tunes, and just be on your way and enjoy the ride. Wow. This power steering makes these turns an ease. You definitely feel super comfortable going through some of these turns. And those Dino tires are not screeching at all. I mean, we're, we're hitting these turns kind of hard here, going over some of these bumps. It's just sucking it up. I mean, it feels, this is a pleasure to drive. Guys, I mean, I wish you could sit in this seat and just feel. I mean, we're just driving by a whole bunch of people. Everybody's staring at you. It's a great feeling. You feel great, and you look good, too. Woo! That eight and a half inch 10 bolt is definitely holding all that power, that 502 big block. Let me tell you that, wow. And guys, just like always, whoa. We got power brakes in the front of this bad boy. Definitely needed around this area. 
Now guys, stay tuned. We are gonna bring this bad boy back to the barn so Joe can give you a little bit more technical information. But I'm gonna enjoy these last few seconds. So guys, stay tuned. And Joe, we're on our way, buddy. Thanks, Chris. I hope you enjoyed that ride. So let's talk about the exterior of this car. Again, RSSS Resto Mod. So you do have the RS headlight package in the front. Also the LED Angelis, LED headlights for better visibility driving at night. A lot better than those regular halogen lights that would have came on these cars factory. Then again, it is a Resto Mod, so you'd expect that, right? Well, the correct tail lights in the rear with the reverse signals on the back. So it is a full RSSS package on this car. Let's talk a little bit about the body lines and the paint of this car. Absolutely glamorous, beautiful, perfect body fit, and this awesome Tangelo Pearl made by House of Colors lays flat and even. The stripes are way underneath the clear coat. So really a show-stopping, show-quality paint and body jive on this car that is absolutely eye-popping and down to give you some attention for sure. 18-inch MHT Ramblers all the way around, but 18-inch staggered on the rear with massive 275 tires, and those tires are Neato NT555, so rest assured, you'll definitely have some awesome grip. Correct polished rocker moldings, correct wheel well moldings, correct chrome on the front and rear, and the chrome is in absolutely awesome condition, as well as a D80 spoiler package. So you do have the front spoiler and also the rear spoiler that was painted properly with the correct striping and painted absolutely awesome, just like the rest of the car. So walking around the car, you're looking at the glass. The glass is in, I would say an eight out of 10, not a full 10 out of 10, but an eight out of 10, still very, very respectable. Front and rear glass as well, also done very, very well. Going on to the rear of the car, you'll notice the chrome exhaust tips. It is a full stainless steel exhaust, but we'll talk about that more going on when we're talking about the underbody. Just like the exterior of this car, just a show-popping engine compartment, but let's talk a little bit more about it. You got this massive 502 cubic inch Chevrolet big block motor, Edelbrock Performer intake manifold, and everything is just polished to perfection. Full serpentine system, alternator, power steering pulley, power steering pump. I mean, every single thing on this car is just polished to perfection and absolutely show quality. But not only does it look good, it performs well. Hooker Super Comp headers on the car, and along with the stainless steel exhaust, this thing just really <laughs> rumbles the ground and sounds absolutely phenomenal. And boy, is it fast. This thing definitely moves. This is a brand new, freshly built 502 cubic inch motor. Again, hooker super comp headers, power disc brakes, polished brake booster, polished or chromed out serpentine system, water pump, power steering, alternator, and this is all cooled by a 1,000, up to 1,000 horsepower, fully aluminum, dual fan, massive radiator. Again, a very well put together engine compartment and a few little small details that work in great, right? The polished filler panel kind of brings in everything in properly. Satin black on the underside of the hood. On the firewall, extremely clean, sanded down, satin black. The inner fenders, also satin black. Just an extremely well put together, show quality engine compartment that not only looks good, but performs extremely well. Interior of this car is very nicely redone and fully restored. The front bucket seats on the car are rebolstered where the front seats will hug you a lot better than a factory seat. Although they still have the factory appeal and factory appearance to look just like completely original seats, just with a little bit better hugging power when you're taking some corners with this resto mod. Back seats are also redone. But moving on to the rest of the interior, let's talk about the front dash. Front dash has the correct speedometer and the correct tachometer. The center console is also in place with that four-speed shifter, and you'll also notice the center console gauges. I love those rally gauges, but those rally gauges have to be matched up with the correct tachometer and speedometer, which is exactly how it is with this car. It's got an aftermarket radio in there with Bluetooth, upgraded auxiliary, and upgraded 50.4 amplifier that's in there. So definitely a lot more amenities than a regular factory radio. Well, that's what you'd want with a resto mod, right? Morris Classics three-point seat belts for better safety. With today's roads, 
And the way things are today, you definitely don't want just lap belts or no seat belts at all. I know a lot of classic cars don't have any seat belts at all. We tend to upgrade most of these resto mods with Morris Classics 3-point seat belts were absolutely phenomenal for better safety. The underbody of this car is in absolutely excellent shape. The floors are absolutely beautiful. None of that gunky undercoating. You get to see the nice, beautiful, well put together metal. On the front end, you do have front disc brakes, of course, power steering. Another cool feature is the disc brake calipers are painted the same color as the exterior of the car. So a nice eye-popping kind of car show resto mod effect that this car has on it, which looks great with those MHT Rambler dark gray wheels that are on it as well. Going off to the center of the car, you'll notice the polished stainless steel system. Absolutely beautiful, polished to perfection. Again, the type of car, if you take to a car show, you'd be proud to put mirrors underneath because it's just as beautiful on the underside. There was no cutting corners on the underside, just like the exterior body of the car. The rear end, eight and a half inch temple. So a little bit of education on temples. Everybody thinks 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt. An eight and a half inch temple is actually stronger than a lot of the 12 volts out there. I think they came factory on Nova SS. It. And you could tell that it's an eight and a half inch temple by those little squared edges on the side of the differential cover back there. Dual exhaust system. Again, we talked that it was polished stainless steel. Gas tank, also brand new. A lot of the under components are brand new. Multi-leaf spring rear suspension. Nice, comfortable ride. Brand new bushings, brand new front suspension, and just a very, very well put together resto mod underbody that anybody would be proud of without any issues. Also a super solid frame, also sanded down and painted the correct satin black, just like the rest of the underbody, and it was detailed just like the rest of the underbody with some of those factory paint effects, but also, again, completely repainted and done properly and looks just as beautiful as the exterior of the car. So guys and gals, if you're looking for an awesome 1969 Camaro RS SS that is truly eye-popping, different, and wonderful, and a full-on resto mod with ground-thumping 502 cubic inch power on a manual Muncie four-speed system, this is the perfect car for you guys. Pay close attention to this one. Joseph Hanny here at No Reserve Classics. If you're interested in checking out this cool resto mod or other cool classic cars, check us out at NoReserveClassics.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And if you want to just see some really cool videos and us having a lot of fun driving these cars, check us out on YouTube.